News Update. And good afternoon on this Thursday. Thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Randy Stone with your update. Monroe police have arrested a man in connection to a December shooting. Remetrius Wilson allegedly forced his way into a home on Joe G Drive. Well, he came in contact with the victim. They began fighting their way out of that house. The fight continued outside where the victim was eventually shot. Wilson was arrested, charged with home invasion and second degree murder. Staying in crime news, a Monroe man is arrested for allegedly shooting at the mother of his child. Now on Friday, March the 8th, just before 3 a.m., Monroe police were dispatched to Cairo Street. Two victims told police they were in bed when shots were fired at them from outside a window. Video footage shows, allegedly shows, Octavius Bilton firing the gun. An investigation unveiled, uh, revealed that Bilton is the ex-boyfriend of one of the victims, also sharing a child with that victim. He was located and arrested. You can see a full list of charges at myarklamus.com. Businesses are being targeted by criminals who are looking to steal checks that are in transit from businesses to the bank. NBC 10's Haley Hines gives us those details. Local businesses may be on high alert after a wave of recent fraud attempts are being made by a traveling group of scammers who are removing checks from mailboxes. Local businesses are being urged to exercise caution when mailing checks due to recent occurrences of fraud in the area. According to Chief Financial Officer Brandon Norris at Louisiana National Bank, the bank has had numerous customers and businesses contact them regarding stolen checks. Norris broke down what exactly is happening to area businesses. Businesses seem to be having their checks stolen from the mail. They've issued a check to one of their vendors, to an employee, have put it in the mail. Apparently someone is stealing those checks, reproducing them, or what's called washing, which means they're taking the check, taking the ink off the check, and putting in different amounts, different payees, and stealing the money. We also asked Norris how business owners can protect their business and employees from this scam. Obviously not issuing paper checks, moving more money electronically through ACH, electronic funds transfers, or direct deposit for employee payrolls. Um, most banks uh, offer positive pay, which is an electronic system that matches up a list of checks that are authorized by the business with the checks being presented. To catch suspicious activity when it happens, Norris continued by stating that he recommends that businesses review their accounts daily by either online or mobile banking. For your Arklamis News Source, I'm Haley Hines. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. We can see a few peaks of sunshine as we go into this afternoon. We are expecting rain and thunder to start developing later on this evening, going into the early morning hours of Friday. And some of these storms starting in parts of Arkansas do have the potential of producing uh, gusty winds. We might even see some damage uh, potential for some hail with these storms as they make their way across uh, parts of Arkansas. And then we're going to see more widespread activity as that cold front begins to dive southward as we go into Friday afternoon. But the overall severe threat starts to diminish, I would say, as we go into Friday afternoon. We start to see more rain and thunderstorms begin to develop. And our biggest concern could be the potential for some excessive rain, potential minor flooding could be possible. We could see up to one to three inches of rainfall with these storms that comes through later on Friday as we could see that potential for flooding in low-lying spots and some areas have very poor drainage. Then as we go into Saturday, the winds will be mainly out of the north and temperatures, they'll really start cooling down as we go into next Sunday, potentially next Monday as we could see some sub-freezing temperatures by next Tuesday. We think uh, temperatures to stay mainly in the 70s throughout much of the weekend. Then on Monday, we'll see them stay in the uh, lower 60s but then Tuesday morning we could have some patchy frost as temperatures drop to the mid 30s and then by Wednesday will be a little bit milder upper 60s and rain will return at least by next Thursday as temperatures will climb back to the upper 60s and potentially lower 70s so a little bit cool on Tuesday but everything will be warming up by the end of next week but rain expected to return. And that's our update. NBC News continues now. Check on your neighbors today. We have weather coming up. Keep it here for all that. God bless us all. I'll see you tomorrow. See the live video from El Dorado with the El Dorado Tower Cam. Every newscast on NBC 10 News. Sponsored by Blackman's Furniture.